Hey what's up everybody welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we are going to creating spline chart using canvas.js it is a javascript library which is mostly used for creating charts like pie chart line chart bar chart etc so we will be creating spline chart as well as line chart so let's get started first of all we have to install xamp server i have already installed that now let's open this and after that we have to start our xamp server which is already running now let's go to htdocs directory here we will be creating a folder let's give it a name line chart open up and let's open this in vs code and that will be code all right so we have opened our project folder in vs code now let's create index file php all we have to create html skeleton Let's give it a name. Supply chart canvas.js. After that, we need to connect canvas.js library, which you can find from this website. You just have to download and it will download the required files. Let's get back to VS Code. So I have already copied that a script file. Let me paste here and save it. Now inside body, we need a div jumbotron inside jumbotron we need div with the id of chart container all right now we have to add some uh, data from the php so let me add php opening and closing tag and inside that we need data and which will be equal to an array I have already copied some dummy data from the browser. Let me paste here. You can see we have some coordinates x axis and y axis coordinate which we will be using in our chart. Now it's time to add some JavaScript code. Inside that, we need to window download. We need to call function. inside that function we need a variable and that will be chart let's create instance let's pass the id it will be chart container and let's create brackets all right inside bracket we need animation enabled and that will be true. Now let's add a title. Inside title, we need text that will be revenue by year. Now, after that, we need coordinates x is y and inside that we need title let's add revenue in usd now we need values let's add hash All right, after that we need suffix. We need prefix.
all right i think we are done for the javascript code now let's see this in a browser how it looks but before checking that uh, in a browser let's add some css let me add a file here that would be style css and let's connect that in So we have added some CSS for aligning that container to the center. Now let's add this class and that class will be let's add one more thing h1 that will be line chart using canvas.js. Now let's check this out in a browser. So let me open my browser let's refresh and you can see we have animated spline chart here we have uh, by year coordinates and we have by dollar coordinates now if you want to change your spline chart to another chart it is very simple so let's uh, get back and let me change that to the line chart check this again by refresh you can see we have a line chart here so we are done here if you like our video please consider to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so you won't miss any upcoming videos and for now that's it see you in the next video